Have you recently purchased a cottage or cabin? Are you concerned about the safety, taste, smell, discoloration, or staining caused by that water? Do you have some filters in the basement or some other water filtration equipment, but you have no idea what you have or how it works? How can you make the water at your lakefront home cottage or cabin as safe and clean as city water? Well, I'm going to show you how starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Cottage water systems are very different than when you're on a municipal water system. In a city or a town, the municipality makes sure your water is bacteria-free, relatively stain-free, and relatively colorless. When um, you're on a cottage system, be it lake water or well water, if you don't make sure that water is safe and clean and stain-free for your family, no one else will. In this video, I'll give you a complete overview of cottage and cabin water filtration. I'll help you identify water filtration equipment you may already have in your cottage, if any, and how you can determine what you need and where you can get it to fix that water. I'll be covering everything from a very basic single faucet system that's available in 12 volt for you folks that are on solar, all the way up to a lakefront home or cottage, um, a complete system, year-round system with automatic uh, backwashing filters, water softeners, iron and sulfur filters, the complete range of uh, home and cottage water filtration. I'll be explaining how the systems work, how to install, how to maintain, and how to get lots more in-depth information. And for those of you that have existing water filtration, I'll touch on where you can get the replacement filters and UV lamps to maintain those systems. There's lots more information on our website, waterestore.com in the U.S. and waterestore.ca in Canada. When you go to the product pages, you'll see icons down the left-hand side. And those ones with the red box in the middle, those are all videos that, like I say, show you how they work, how to install, and how to maintain. When you click on those icons, instead of the product image, you'll see the video pop up and give you that information. So first off, you'll probably be looking for something to make sure the water is bacteria-free and safe for your family to drink. So you can start with something like this. This is a Viqua VT1 DWS. The water flows in through this side here. And uh, it goes through the sediment filter first, and then it goes to the carbon filter, and then it goes over to the ultraviolet light that kills the bacteria. And then it comes out to this one single faucet here. And uh, so it's a great system. It's available in 12 volt. This one actually has the 12 volt ballast, but it's also available in 110 volt. It's available in a couple different sizes with larger size filters for more capacity. And it's also available uh, as a VT4. So it's available for a higher flow rate. But again, that's just one faucet at the kitchen sink. That system is super easy to winterize. You just unscrew the filter housings, dump out the water, pull out the glass sleeve and the uh, UV lamp, drain the whole system down, unplug it, and you're ready to go. But again, remember, that system is available 12 volt for you folks on solar and 110 volt for you folks that aren't on, so on solar. Now, if you want to go with a whole cottage type system, we've got many different sizes of systems. So if you're looking for something for a basic cottage, Maybe it has um, one bathroom, uh, it's used by four or five people, tops, you know, that kind of thing. You can go with this system here. So this is a Safe Water 6, this is a Hume Safe Water 6 system. It's good for six gallons per minute flow rate. So in that kind of a scenario, um, you would never exceed six gallons per minute. And, uh, and it's, it's a great system. It would be installed right after your pressure tank. Um, if you have any water filtration equipment now, like a water softener or water softener or some kind of a coarse sediment filter, this would go after that, but it would go before the water splits into hot and cold. So again, the water flows in from this side here, sediment filter first, removes dirt from the water down to five microns, so it's a pretty fine filter. Then it moves on to a carbon filter, so carbon removes chemicals, herbicides, pesticides, and it's also a taste and odor filter. So it might get, if you're drawing from the lake, gets rid of that fishy smell, that kind of a thing. And then from there it goes through the ultraviolet light that kills the bacteria. Now, the ultraviolet light, so when it, at the end of the season, again, it's super easy to winterize. So you would unscrew these two filter housings and dump out the water and the filters. And then at the bottom of the stainless steel canister here, it has a drain plug, so you'd open that up to drain the whole system down. You'd unplug it, and then you're good to go. And in the spring, you put new filters in, fire it back up, obviously make sure the plug's back in here, and you're ready to go for another season. 
So if you're looking for a larger system, then you really need to know the flow rate uh, that we're dealing with. And that's how UV systems are sized. So the first system I showed you was only one gallon per minute because it's just doing that one faucet. The second system I showed you, the uh, Safe Water 6, is good for six gallons per minute. But if you're looking at a, at, at a larger cottage where you've got two, three bathrooms, uh, you might have eight or ten people there, you might have laundry facilities there, then you're going to be looking at a larger system. So we've got the great Safe Water 10, that's one of our most popular systems, but you really need to know your flow rate coming from your well pump so we know that UV is going to be big enough to kill the bacteria as the water is flowing through. And one of the ways you know is by uh, testing the the flow rate. Now, if you don't have that information, most folks don't, you need to be able to test it. So I've got a great video. I'll put a link in the description down below where you can uh, test the flow rate coming from your well pump so you know how to size uh, your UV system. So talking about larger systems, this is the Hume Safe Water 10. So it's good for up to uh, 10 gallons per minute flow rate. This is a great system. It's made in North America. It's actually made in Canada. This is a system that I have in my home for my family. And like I say, if you have two to three bathrooms, six to seven people, that kind of thing with laundry facilities, this will handle it no problem. If you're not sure, make sure you check out that flow rate first. And again, it's super easy to do the maintenance. It's all non-proprietary, so you can get the replacement UV lamps, sleeves, filters. You can get them from us, but obviously you can get it from uh, any water filtration uh, dealer in North America. If you tested your flow rate and you need something larger still, or you have one inch plumbing, then we go up to the Viqua IHS 22E4. So again, this is a great system. It'll handle 16 gallons per minute flow rate, no problem. Again, made in North America, all non-proprietary filters, UV lamp, etc. A great system, has a lot of extra information built into the controller, and uh, it's definitely something you'd want to check out for those larger homes. So in terms of maintenance for those ultraviolet disinfection systems, the larger systems I'm talking about here, um, the Hume Safe Water 6 all the way up to the uh, E4, then uh, the, the UV lamp needs to be replaced after 12 months of use. So if you use your cottage year round, um, then once a year, you'd be replacing that. If you use your cottage or cabin for six months a year, unplug it, and then another six months, you would get two seasons out of it. It does have a timer built in where it'll start to notify you when it's time to do that replacement. The filters, uh, they also last a year. If, um, if they clog before then because you've got a lot of sediment or a lot of sand in your water, obviously you may need to replace the first filter, the sediment filter, uh, the sediment filter more often. So then we may be talking about an extra barrier for your drinking water against uh, bacteria. So again, if, if some of the folks in your family are a little bit squeamish about drinking water after the first barrier, that's the ultraviolet disinfection, then you can go with the reverse osmosis system like this one here. This one is our Hume Water Saver 75. Very efficient system, uh, very little wasted water, and uh, like I say, it's very fast because it gives you 75 gallons per day. Uh, it's rated for in terms of production of that reverse osmosis water. So these systems, if you want to identify something that's already in, in your cottage, this might be underneath the kitchen sink, or it might be in the basement, or crawl space, or underneath the cottage, or something like that. Also included with the reverse osmosis system is a tank, so the tank is um, about the size of a basketball, just to give you some idea. It's usually plastic or metal, sometimes they're blue, but most of the time they're white, and that's part of the system. Again, um, these cannot be winterized very well. So what I suggest to folks is if you don't have any heat on in your cottage or cabin in the wintertime, just disconnect the system and uh, take it home in, in the, somewhere warm over the, the winter months so it doesn't freeze and then reconnect it in the spring. Again, you're going to want to replace the filters and that each season. The membrane, the part at the top that, that uh, actually does most of the work, typically lasts um, anywhere from three to eight years, something like that. Now these uh, systems, these Hume Water Saver 75s, they are made in North America. They're a real quality system. And again, the replacement filters are all non-proprietary, so you can easily uh, purchase them anywhere. Does the water at your lakefront home cottage or cabin have a yellow color to it, like a weak tea color, maybe a light brown or a light yellow? Well, that could either be iron or tannins. It probably causes some staining. Now, if you're on well water, you could have um, iron and or tannins. You could have both or one or the other, and that could be causing that. If you're on lake water, then it's tannins. It's definitely not iron. So I've got a great YouTube video that shows you how to differentiate between the two and I'll put a link in the description down below. You definitely want to check it out if you've got that brown water that's causing staining for your family. 
So whether you're on well or lake water, if you have a lot of dirt, a lot of sediment in your water, then those uh, cartridge filters that you find inside the UV systems or the standalone blue cartridge type filters are going to become clogged very quickly and you're going to be constantly changing them. So if you're in that kind of situation, there's a few other things that you can do before those filters to, to do the heavy lifting if you like. And one is you can get a backwashing filter like this next sand filter here. So the dirt accumulates inside that for four or five days. After that, it automatically backwashes to the drain to clean itself. So the beauty of these systems is there's no filters to replace. There's no chemicals to add. It's just every three to five days it goes through that, that procedure to clean itself out. So what's a tannin filter look like? Well, it looks exactly like a water softener. It works like a water softener. There's two tanks like a water softener. One has salt in it like a water softener. And the other tank has media in it totally unlike a water softener, a different kind of media altogether. Generally speaking, tannin filters use a lot more salt than water softeners. And again, if you're on lake water and you've got equipment like this already in your cottage or cabin, then chances are it's not a water softener. Don't assume that it is because it's likely a tannin filter. If you're on a, if you're drawing from well water and you see folks sometimes call me and they say, hey, why do I have two water, two water softeners in my cottage or cabin? It, you probably don't. You probably have a water softener and you have a tannin filter, but they look so much alike that it's from outwardly, you can't tell the difference. So can that brown staining from your well water be caused by iron? Absolutely sure can. And one way you can tell that it's iron is if you um, clean the toilets and flush them and there's no color to the water at all and then you come back to the toilet a week later or something like that and it's turned brown that's definitely iron and what's happening is the air is oxidizing the iron out of the water how do you get rid of it well you can go with one of our foc fob or fok iron and sulfur filters they use air to oxidize the iron out of the water within the tank and then they trap that oxidized iron backwash it to the drain so it's a great system totally chemical free and, uh, and they do a great job of uh, cleaning up your water and they last a, a really long time. And then we get to sulfur, you know, that rotten egg smell. Everybody hates that smell. So one thing you need to determine, first of all, is that hot smell in both the cold water and the hot water? If it's just in the hot water, it's always going to be worse than the hot water now, keep that in mind. But if it's just in the hot water, it's probably coming from the anode within your uh, hot water tank. You can remove that anode and, uh, and that'll take care of the smell. If it's bold, both in the cold and the hot water and it's coming from your well water, then it's sulfur in your water. How do you get rid of it? Again, one of these FOC, FOB or FOK iron and sulfur filters, they oxidize that sulfur out of the water. And again, it's a chemical free system. So if you have iron and you have sulfur in your water, it's a twofer. These systems uh, will take care of both of them for you. So I mentioned water softeners a little bit earlier. And uh, so if you're on well water, you may very well have hard water. And how you can tell, you get sort of an off-white staining and you'll get it uh, on your glasses. Uh, if the water dries on the glasses, on the drain board, or if you're fortunate enough to have a dishwasher at the cottage and your glasses come out kind of a, with a white haze on it, that's hard water. How do you get rid of that? With, with the water softener. So often cottages and cabins have very little space. So if you're stuck for space, but you need a water softener, I recommend our Aquamaster water softeners. They're super small. There's only 27 inches tall, about 15 inches wide, 19 inches deep, and they're high efficiency water softeners. So what that means is they use very little salt and they use very little water to soften your water. So one thing that often happens in cottages and cabins is they either don't have any air conditioning or the air conditioning isn't used a whole lot because you got people running inside and outside all day long and uh, typically the water filtration is installed in an area that's very humid. So what happens is when you have cold water passing through a humid area, then you get condensation. So you often see that on pipes where water is dripping from pipes and that. How do you get rid of that? You need to insulate it. So we have um, tank, tank jackets, neoprene tank jackets for water softeners, iron filters, and they can be retrofitted to your system. So um, all you need to do is uh, check out the size of the tanks and, uh, and, we can, and you don't have to disconnect the plumbing, you don't have to disconnect anything to, um, to, to add the jacket to your system. You just undo the zipper, drape it around and zip it back up just like a neoprene jacket. And like I say, they do a great job of insulating the equipment. Why is that important? Because what, uh, two reasons actually. One, 
is you don't get the puddling on the floor and it can damage the floor, you can get rotting of the floor, etc. But the other reason, which I think is actually more important than the first one, is mold. When they're damp and you've got dust and, and stuff in the air, what happens? You get mold growing on those tanks. And I've seen some really, really disgusting tanks. So if you have those disgusting tanks in your cottage or cabin, I definitely suggest you clean them up really well, get one of these neoprene jackets, and you'll, you'll be amazed the difference it makes. And, and the jacket are fully washable. So in a few years down the road, uh, you're concerned that they may have uh, mold in them and that, no big deal. You just unzip them, take them off and wash them. And again, you don't have to disconnect any plumbing, cut anything. You don't just put them, or just put them around. So I've got a great YouTube video that shows you how to size those neoprene jackets. And I'll put a link in the description down below so you can definitely check that out. And please remember, when you're on our website, watereastore.com or watereastore.ca in Canada, check on the icons on the left-hand side because that's where you'll see those videos on how it works, how to maintain, and how to install. We have a full range of water filtration products and we're a great resource to help make the water at your cottage or cabin safe, color, and stain-free for your family. Click here for my next video on home and cottage water filtration and I'll see you there.